I'm Casey Donovan, together with Amy Malloy, you're back in the space, a mindfulness podcast that's not like the others. In this show, we share hints and tips for how to be your best self in ways you might not expect. On Monday, our theme is Let's Do This, where we give you mindfulness tips to get you clear on the week ahead. It's back to work for a lot of people today. But for a lot of people, it's not. We all know that COVID has made the economy a little flighty. Jobs are being lost. Hours are being cut. Maybe you're rethinking your entire industry. Either way, this podcast app is for you. Mindfulness isn't just about feeling serene. It can also help us get shit done. That includes looking for a new job or making a career move. Whether you're sitting in your pyjamas scrolling LinkedIn or you're sitting in a Zoom meeting but your mind is wandering, mindfulness can help you feel calm and centred. Tip one, when you're job hunting, be in the now. It might sound like obvious advice, but how many of us choose a job based on our preferences from 10 years ago? Okay, you might still have the hopes, dreams and desires as you had when you were 18. But it's unlikely. Let yourself grow up. Let yourself grow older. When it comes to your career, it's okay to change your mind. Tip two. Breathe for confidence. Before you pick up the phone or even press send on an email, stop and take three Long, deep breaths. We know you feel in a rush. You've got bills to pay. But you'll be a better candidate if you take time to settle. Tip three. Don't focus on what you want to do. Focus on how you want to feel. Before you hit those job boards, take a moment to imagine. How do you want to feel on the average morning? How do you want to feel when you finish work for the day? How do you want to feel on a Sunday evening? Focus on those feelings for a moment. Not the size of your pay packet. Although we hope you get a tasty pay rise too. I'm Casey Donovan, and you've been listening to The Space. Tune in tonight for another mindfulness tip. We'll be chatting unexplained anxiety and how to erase it. Until then, space out. 